Well, hello everyone. Hope you're all well. Uh, yesterday I uh, finished work at three in the afternoon and went shopping, filled up the fridge, filled up the diesel, filled up the gas and uh, filled up the water. So I'm good to go and I've driven, it's not far, just the Vale of Beaver. It's, it's only say about 10 miles from me, so uh, within the, the allowed limits, I believe. So I'm going to have a few days around here to exercise. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to have a, just a chilled few days, like I say, five days off work. I need to just do something to get away from where I'm normally parked up. Um, so a bit of exercise. Uh, I've got a few jobs to do around the van. Um, bit of photography maybe, bit of walking, uh, film a few bits for the channel and, and just a relaxed few days so uh, yeah I'll film a few bits and hopefully uh, you'll get to see them soon. Alright, right, I think it's time for breakfast. Well I think I need to start the day with some uh, egg and bacon. Can't go wrong with that. That'll do me for breakfast. Well, one thing I've noticed, guys, is um, lately the diesel heater, it seems to be making a lot more noise of late um, than what it used to. So um, a few days ago, I ran it like on full pelt. Um, it was like a bloody sauna in here, I tell you. So I got it up to temperature, then ran it at full pelt for half an hour. And it's not really made much difference to be honest so uh, so what I've done I've got bought some of this Red X diesel system cleaner and uh, I, to I topped up both my diesel tank and the diesel tank uh, yesterday both full so I put probably about a quarter of this or just under a quarter into the the heater tank and the rest went into the the, uh, the main fuel tank um, so I will see if that does anything, see if that helps. I thought it might uh, help clean it through, maybe. Uh, I don't know, but has anyone got any suggestions? Uh, what I could do if that doesn't work? That'd be great. Thank you. So guys, it's the next day. Uh, didn't do much filming yesterday. I spent the day sort of driving around and finding park ups and checking out the area. Um, found a few nice villages. Um, and I stopped here last night. Uh, behind me over there is a bit of a, a recycling plant, metal scrappage place. Um, lots of business going there, lots of lorries in the day. Um, but of course that's about six o'clock, five o'clock. It was uh, nice and quiet. Um, let's have a look, that's, that's uh, Langer Airfield. And obviously that's me. I uh, found this sort of uh, old road. There's a gate there, which you can see it's not been opened for months and months. So, uh, so no one's going to come down here. Uh, didn't get a knock or anything last night. And I say, very busy with the. And there's another one. Oh no, he's not coming this way. But a lot of lorries. Come this way in the day, but you don't mind. Uh, quiet last night. Um, just been filming the shower video, so hopefully you will have seen that one already. Uh, if not, you can check it out here. Right. I think I need some food. Right. Catch you later. Oh yes, just to say. Um, just to follow up from the quad bike video and this is the mirror as you can see it's uh, I'm about to tape it up uh, until I get it fixed uh, I tried just to uh, tape it up initially there but it's just too heavy it was just uh, it was falling off all the time so so it's like that for the time being I can see out of it 
so uh, obviously it will not pass an MOT like that and I don't want to leave it like that so um, I have bought a replacement but I'm going to have to go to a garage to get that done um, the bolts there's three bolts um, and when you tighten them up the heads come off purposely and um, that's what Ford do um, but it just means you need to grind them out and everything and it's just going to be a total sod to get off so I'm going to get the garage to do that and um, I'm going to book that in for next week hopefully get that done uh, so I just thought I'd update you with that if you haven't seen the video you can check it out here and uh, yeah check it out right food time Well folks, uh, it's the next day, um, I've had, um, turn this down, it's better, uh, I've had a couple of nights here uh, by the airfield at Langer, uh, I would stay here again, definitely, it's level, um, and it's uh, at night it's quiet, peaceful, um, didn't get disturbed, didn't get a knock, uh, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's alright recommend it so I'm going to uh, drive on uh, I think I'm gonna head up towards Beaver Castle um, you can't really see much of it from the road because the trees uh, block it all in but uh, yeah I'll go and have a look and uh, I'll see you there guys I'm not sure how much you can see on this camera, but uh, there's Beaver Castle, and uh, rather impressive it is too. Got some lovely views. me uh, bounce another park up. Uh, once these cars go I will probably park where that van is. Uh, but it's right by the uh, canal. So yeah, it's time to go for a bit of a walk. So obviously this is uh, disused. It's nice to have a walk though. Enjoying the views. A nice cool day. Yeah, so this is uh, Vale of Beaver. Um, to say it's so close to where I live, um, I've never been here. So it's nice just to have a quick few days just to sort of scout around and there's some beautiful villages that I've been through and uh, yeah definitely come back um, like I say five minutes down the road 
Uh, isn't it funny how you don't explore? It's a bit muddy and slippy here. Isn't it funny how you don't always explore your local area? What uh, travel wide? Fancy walking over that. It's getting muddy. <laughs> Nearly. Quite a nice walk by the canal. Uh, just a short one today. But it is nice to get out and stretch the legs. It is good. Yeah, cool but pleasant day. And uh, you can make out the van there. Alright. It's time to get back and put the kettle on. Alright, morning. Uh, it's the next morning. Um, I did move the van last night. I did park it there. Um, but believe it or not, the signal was shit. Uh, it's been the trees, I don't know. So I moved back there again and uh, the signal was fine. Very strange. Anyway, I don't want to stay here too long. Uh, locals coming and going and it's not that big car park obviously. So I'm going to move on. Right, let's see where we end up. Well, just pulled up there because I uh, just came across this church. I quite like the look of. I just thought I'd have a just thought I'd have a look round, see what it's like. Well, well guys, that was interesting. Um, just had the uh, the cops pull up and uh, ask me a few questions. Um, they were fine, I must admit. They were, they were, you know, they were pleasant and uh, just asked me what I was doing. And um, I saw them pull up behind me for a few minutes before they came and spoke to me. Um, obviously, they was checking out the registration and stuff. Uh, and they asked me where I lived, so I told them I lived in the van. 
and they said, and they said oh what's this and they mentioned the address um so i said that's where i used to live that's where i'm, I'm everything you know everything's i need a legal address so that was my legal address um and he says how do you get that how do you get any letters that are sent to you there and i says, well you know if a friend lives there and i use that address so they were sort of okay with that and uh they sort of said oh can't you sort yourself something out permanent um you know living in a van rather than living in a van over winter and i said it's awkward and, and all this you know and it was okay they said well you shouldn't really be traveling far it's, it's your conscience at the moment traveling um why travel 20 miles to get your exercise when you can travel to well, i can see his point um but yeah, that was okay, and uh, and uh, they took my details, sort of thing, and sort of then they've gone. So uh, that was that. So uh, my first knock on the door <laughs> uh, by the law, but uh, yeah, that was uh, interesting. Uh, I must say. Right, time to finish my cuppa. Well, it's uh, Saturday night, guys, and. Um, I'm just thinking tomorrow being Sunday, the coppers are going to be on it really, aren't they? Uh, stopping people who are out and about, uh, especially in campers and things. So uh, I'm going to drive back, not that it's only far, it's about 10 miles anyway, or thereabouts, uh, back to Nottingham, and park up in one of my uh, regular spots. Um, just can't be doing with the asshole tomorrow really, all the questions. Uh, I've had a good few days out, it's been nice, relaxing. Uh, did a couple of short walks, but it's been good. Got a few bits done in the van, so it's been good. So, like I say, I'm going to head back to Knotts, and I'll uh, make that the end of the video. So, um, hope you've enjoyed it. A thumbs up would be great. Um, comments, subscriptions, that's all good. So, right, catch you later, guys. Take care out there. Cheers. Yeah.